All right, that was quite a lot. Uh, what a ride. And, and thank you so much for hanging in there this entire and this long uh, lecture with a lot of uh, uh, information in it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, usually, uh, these are lectures, right? So usually also my advice and, 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 uh, and experience shows that actually students watch these lectures at least, at least two times. This is not something to binge watch. You know, this is something to get, get used to. This is information you might get used to in the first time you hear something. You know, it, it, it might not really stick, it might not really hit home because you're just thinking about something. It's, it's something new that you, have to, that you have to process too. So at least watching it two times while taking notes is extremely important here in order to internalize it, right? Internalize this new, this new information, this reality. So today we basically walked around this conceptual framework that we will use for the rest of the course and we will look at different aspects of it. Today we basically focused a lot, to be honest with you, on this social media, the attention economy. So we started with the attention economy and then basically what I insinuated that social media took a big part of it because, you know, with social media that gets your attention and at the end, they're business models. So companies like Facebook or Google make their money by having your attention. At the end, selling you something. Facebook or Google dominate by far, dominate the ads, ads market. They're the, by far the biggest ads providers because they know you. They're micro-targeting, right? They know your fears. They know your emotions, your personality, and your characteristics. Um, so I was hitting a lot on Facebook and Google today and gave you some historical background also of how that came about. And of course, these sectors are evolving extremely fast, but I think it's important also that you know a little bit about the discussions of how it comes about because our future is socially constructed. And there might be accidents sometimes that happen, but they are part of the way that we collectively, that we collectively make while we are walking. walking. So then we talked about the different sectors, the infrastructure, the hardware, and I explained how, how that can be used also and how that is, is actually used in the attention economy, in social media in order to, to get, get what, what it's all about, getting your attention. That's the, that's the scarce resource here. We talked a lot about generic services, so that's where most of the action actually happens. Um, different digital services. And we ended talking about the human skills and our responsibility in that as part of the problem and the solutions. Um, not so much about very different vectors, but we will talk about the rest of the course about some other applications, be it in e-business, e-government, and, uh, and education. And then also come back always again to the third side, the diagonal side of the cube, where we try to shape best as we can our reality. And as I started saying, even if we don't do any proactive policy or strategy intervention, then something else will shape inevitably how technology is applied in society. So the premise of the attention economy is that having your attention is money. So as long as that's the intention, that's the incentive, that's what's going to be exploited. So you can or cannot do something about it, but that's what the market in a capitalistic market will then exploit. So the fact that it is capitalism, the fact that attention allows you to get the data, which then with the data can make predictions. I can, so there's also already, there's already a diagonal feedback mechanism involved and it can run up, it can really get a bad effects uh, or it can run something down. And same as for governments, if governments are not held in check, they can use this technology for, whatever, for control, to foster democracy technology. It's not good nor bad, nor is it neutral. Let's be very clear, it's also not neutral, but it's our choice as well to put it to work. And we will talk much more about this throughout the rest of the course, where we will go around our conceptual framework. Thank you very much for sticking with me and have a good rest of the week.